Does the climate crisis play a role in storms like Fiona? The short answer is yes. This mainly comes in the form of increased, more intense rainfall. For every 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 degrees Celsius of warming, the atmosphere can hold 7% more water vapor. And according to NASA, the Earth has already warmed about 2 degrees Fahrenheit, 1.1 degrees Celsius, compared to pre-industrial times. All three storms that happened this past weekend, Hurricane Fiona in the Caribbean, Typhoon Nanmato in Japan, and Typhoon Murbach in Alaska saw intense rainfall. Hurricane Fiona dropped more than 20 inches of rain on some parts of Puerto Rico, knocking out access to power for much of the island. In Japan, more than 8 million people were told to evacuate before Typhoon Nanmato hit and dropped almost 20 inches of rain. Alaskan communities are facing devastating flooding after the storm surge from Typhoon Murbach raised water levels to more than 10 feet in some areas. Scientists think the storm was able to form and gain the intensity it did due to an atypically warm Pacific Ocean. It takes time for researchers to determine how different factors, including climate change, impact specific storms like the ones we saw over the weekend. However, an analysis of the super active 2020 Atlantic hurricane season found that climate change caused hurricanes to dump more water than they would have otherwise, with 10% more rain falling during the storm's heaviest three-hour period of precipitation.